So today I'm going to talk about the cash envelope system. Now, I started using this system a while ago, but I have recently had to switch to a more digital version due to everything that's going on at the moment. Obviously cash is not really a thing at the moment, so I've switched over to digital. So I'm gonna show you how that is all working out and how I'm managing that. Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Hi, my name's Amy, it's nice to meet you. Here on this channel I post videos about saving money, frugal living and how to feed your family on a budget. So if that sounds like the kind of thing you're interested in, press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell and then you can be notified every time I release a new video. So in January, I started using the cash envelope method. Now, if you don't know what that is, it is where you literally take cash, you separate it down into the different areas of your budget in physical envelopes, and then that is all the money you have to use for that week or month or whatever period you're using. I used a um, little binder, and in here I have the envelopes for each of my different sections, and every month, we're paid monthly, so every month I would take the cash out of the bank and pop it into these envelopes. Now, I also have um, my sinking funds in here, which I'll talk about a bit more about in another video, but it's basically where we just put money aside so that if we ever need it, we have that money readily available without having to dip into other money. So this is how I was managing my general day-to-day -day household spending. So this isn't the overall bills, it's the variable spends that you have throughout the month. And I was just popping cash in there and then I wouldn't often take the whole thing out of the house because obviously that's a lot of cash to be carrying around. I'd just take what I think I needed and generally I'd take a little bit from the miscellaneous category so that if anything did come up, I would have some cash with me. I would then put the receipts in the corresponding envelope with any of the cash that was left over so that I could keep a track of my spending throughout the month. However, when we went into lockdown, that all sort of changed. Cash is not really a thing at the moment, so I started doing everything digitally. Now, I always budget on an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm gonna actually be talking about that in a video next week and giving you a link to that actual spreadsheet that I use. But I decided to take that a step further with my cash envelopes without cash. Now the areas that you have in your budget will be completely dependent on your spending. So we have food, we have fuel, we have family fun, we have pets and household, and we have miscellaneous. So food is everything to do with food spending. So we're not big takeaway eaters or um, and we don't go and buy coffee out and things like that, but on the very rare occasions when we do, that's where all of that money comes from. So if it's not in that food envelope, we can't spend it. Fuel, at the moment this is a lower category for us because we're just not going anywhere, but we still have um, fuel costs to get to work and things like that, so we do still have a fuel budget at the moment. We have our family fun category. Now this sort of covers anything that we want to do as a family. So if we want to go on a trip as a family, that doesn't necessarily come out of our fuel budget. If we are traveling specifically for that purpose, it would come out of the family fun budget as well as any money we would spend while we were out for the day. The pets and household budget is obviously everything to do with the pets. It doesn't cover the pet insurance. That's a standard set bill, so that's classed as a bill payment. This is for things like food. It covers anything additionally that they need, so their worming and flea treatments and those kind of things all come out of that budget. And the miscellaneous budget is one of the smallest in our um, range of budgets but that covers any extras that we want during the month so any additional little treats anything else that comes up needs to come out of that budget 
So there are several different ways you could do a digital version of the cash envelope system where you are using digital cash. And I'm gonna talk through those different ways. So the first thing you could do is separate your money into separate bank accounts. We do this to a certain extent in that we have a bills account, we have savings accounts, where we have an emergency savings account and we have a longer term savings account, and we also have a day-to-day -day spend account. But you could take that further and separate it down by the different areas in your budget. So this could become an awful lot of different bank accounts depending on how many categories you're doing. Some people will use maybe a credit card as their food card, which then gets paid off in full every month so that you're not accruing debt on that. It is a method that we looked at using, but we found that it wasn't really working for us because we would both need a card for every single bank account and it really starts to, you know, you just have plastic everywhere if you start doing things like that. For a lot of people, it works brilliantly though, so I definitely wouldn't rule it out. The second way that you can do this is to use a spreadsheet. Now, this is our preferred way of doing it because it's something that I can keep with me on my phone. We can both have access to it so that as and when either one of us is spending money, it can be taken off there. Now, I'll link below the spreadsheet that I use. It's very simple and obviously it's tailored to us with our categories, but you can always add in your own categories. And it just allows us to, if some money is spent, it can be filled in and then it comes off what we have left so we know exactly what we have left in each category of our budget the whole way through. The third way to do this is to use an app. There are an awful lot of sort of spend tracker apps out there. Um, one that I use is called Money Manager from Google Play. It's a free app and it allows you to set up your accounts so you can set them up however is going to work best for you. So I have the five that we use and then you fund them with the right amount of money. You can go onto the main page, add to add an expense and you just fill in the account that it's being added to or taken away from. You can add a category, put the amount that you've spent in there, save it and when you're then in your accounts you will see the amount you have left in your budgets as you go through. So a lot of money management apps will actually link to your bank account. I personally don't link those to my bank accounts, not because they're not safe, a lot of them are safe, but I don't have the knowledge that I need to know which ones are, which ones aren't, so I would rather just play it safe. So the money manager app that I talked about, I don't put in any any account details at all, it's just simply tracking my expenses. The app is really good because you can take it with you, so I always have my phone with me, so using the app is really good. We also have the same benefit of that if we're using the spreadsheet version, because the spreadsheet is tailored specifically to us, and like I say, I can have access to it, my husband can have access to it. Personally, I prefer these two methods over the version where you have separate bank accounts for everything. It allows both of us to see at a glance exactly what we have and what we've spent. Whereas sometimes if you're using different bank accounts, card transactions can take a couple of days to go through and maybe then you're not entirely sure exactly what you've got and what you've spent. If you're doing it over a whole month, then that's not necessarily a problem. But if you're working on a weekly basis, that can sometimes become a bit tricky to manage. Now, the thing that works really well for us with the cash envelope system whether digital or physical cash, is that not only does it keep us on a budget because we can physically see that amount dropping all the time and every time we make a, make a purchase, but it also allows us to track where we are spending money. So if we think that we're gonna spend a certain amount on something over the course of the month and it actually turns out that we get halfway through and all of that money's gone, we've made a mistake somewhere. So it enables us to go back look over what we've done and see where that happened. 
Since we started using this system, we have found that our overall spend has gone down. It makes you very aware of every penny that you're spending and pennies really do add up. So like I said, we use the spreadsheet method and I will link below the spreadsheet that I've sort of created to do this. It is a very basic spreadsheet, but it is something that can be used in Excel or it can be used with Google Sheets. So we can share it on Google Drive between the two of us and then keep track of everything that's spent. Whichever way works for you is the way you need to be doing it. Now, if we get to the end of the month and we find we have a bit of cash left in those budgets or those categories, then what we like to do is put that into our savings because it's not something that needs to be spent elsewhere. The rest of our budget takes care of everything. So it's like an extra little bonus bit that we get to put into our savings. If you're already using the cash envelope system or a digital version of it, let me know in the comments below which you're using and why you're going with that particular method. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you would subscribe if you want to stick around and see more videos like this one. And I will see you in the next video. Have a brilliant day. Bye.